Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. Today I'm going to take you for a look at one of the most haunted castles in Transylvania. I'm going to show you around Bran Castle, which many people believe is the home of the real life Count Dracula. I'm going to take you in for a look around, we'll go over its ghost stories and I'll dispel some of the myths and legends that connect this castle to Vlad the Impaler. So we're just on our way up to Bran Castle and to get there you need to walk past a lot of tourists. It's this pretty cool market. There's a lot of souvenirs that you can pick up and a lot of them are Count Dracula themed. Uh, so it seems very fitting. Yeah. Up here is probably my favourite thing. It's a big haunted house. It's like a haunted castle attraction, perfect for Halloween. <laughs> so we're starting to get our first glimpses of Bran Castle now. It looks so cool, so. All right, so after you pass the markets, you get into the castle grounds and they're really beautiful. It's got lovely gardens. There's so many people. To get to the castle as well is a bit of a hike because it's perched on top of a hill. It makes it look much cooler though. Grand Castle is actually quite an old building. The first documented mention of this structure was back in 1377. It also served a very important purpose throughout the 1400s, being a defensive structure against the Ottoman Empire. But what Bran Castle is best known for is its ties to Count Dracula. Many people believe it is Dracula's real castle. So the area of Romania that Bran Castle exists is actually well known for one of its leaders back in the 1400s named Vlad Sepesh, or also called Vlad the Impaler for his favorite method of execution, which was impaling people. Because of his brutality during his life, it is rumored that Bram Stoker used Vlad Sepesh as the real life inspiration for his character in his famous novel, Dracula. Although Vlad Sepesh was known for being quite bloodthirsty, he was very different to the Dracula that we know and love from the books and movies. Strangely, the only ties that Bran Castle has with Vlad Sepesh is that he passed through this valley a few times during his life. There's actually no documented proof that he even visited Bran Castle during those passing bys. It's strange to think that this place is marketed as Dracula's castle. Now I will be visiting the castle where Vlad Sepesh actually had a hand in constructing and lived during his life. So if you'd be interested in seeing that one, which is probably closer to being the Dracula's real castle, then hit subscribe. I'll have that video coming later this month. It is rumored, however, that the image of Bran Castle was used by Bram Stoker to develop his description of Dracula's castle in his famous novel, Dracula. Though, if you have read the book or seen a lot of the Dracula movies, the images in those are quite different to what Bran Castle actually looks like. Although Bran Castle has very limited ties to Dracula, which is funny as that is what the castle is best known for, it does have some really cool ghost stories, which is what I am most interested in and why I brought you guys here. It's also why Bran Castle is considered to be one of the most haunted castles in Romania. So the most famous and well-known ghost story here at Bran Castle is actually the ghost of a royal person. So in the early 1900s, Bran Castle was converted to a royal residence and it soon became the favorite home and retreat for Queen Marie. In 1920, Queen Marie actually ordered the castle's restoration. Since her death, many people have claimed to cite her apparition throughout the castle and she is thought to still dwell in Bran Castle, which she loved so much during her life. 
So this room behind me is actually Queen Marie's bedroom. It is so stunning and beautifully decorated and I wonder if this is where her ghost hangs out because she is one of the many spirits said to haunt Bran Castle. Besides the ghost of Queen Marie, there are thought to be many, many other spirits trapped with inside Bran Castle. Now while these spirits don't have their own ghost stories, names, or there isn't a lot of background information known about them, it is thought because the castle is so old, it's had the capacity to accumulate many spirits during its lifetime. This castle is actually a favourite spot for paranormal investigators and there's been a lot of evidence caught here as well as a lot of reports of paranormal activity occurring within the castle. People have cited apparitions, there's been disembodied voices heard, some of which have even been captured on EVP. There's been a lot of light anomalies and orbs within the castle and there has even been shadow figures and poltergeist activity that has occurred here. And that is why Bran Castle is thought to be one of the most haunted castles in the whole world. So one of the coolest parts of the castle, which is also my favourite, is a secret hidden tunnel. It's essentially a staircase which connects the first and third floors. And I've also read online that it is haunted. And while it looks kind of creepy, I don't have any specific ghost stories or background information on those supposed hauntings. So let's go have a look. Walking around the grounds now because it's way more quieter than it is in the castle. So, at the foot of the castle, you can see it up on this big hill. So, there's like a secret entrance into the hill. some awesome ruins at the foot of Bran Castle and this one has a well too. Full of trash. Yeah it looks like no one throws money in this one they just throw rubbish. I can't believe how much money is in there. Is this even a real well? It doesn't go down very far. <laughs> People are crazy. There's a tenor in there. I'm not a hundred percent sure what this is whether it's old ruins or it's a seating area kind of constructed uh, to look kind of old. Um, either way it's pretty cool. So what's cool is you can actually walk around the grounds of the castle. There's not even an admission fee to get into the grounds and I don't know whether the tourists know about it because there's no one out here and it's cool there's some uh, ruins down here as well so we're gonna go check those out. I'm not sure what this room or what this building uh, would have been um, but I assume it was part of the castle at one point the castle's so close just up here there's another well over here so we're gonna check it for money <laughs> Yep, 
No one's throwing money in this one either. At least this one doesn't have trash in it. Yeah, it's got some. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video about Brand Castle. If you did, please remember to like, comment and share. That all really helps me out. And although this wasn't Vlad Sepesha's actual castle, I will be visiting the real life Count Dracula castle later on in my travels here in Romania. That will be up on my channel very soon in the lead up to Halloween. So if you wanna see that, make sure to subscribe. If you're looking for a bit more reading on this haunted castle or other haunted places, head to Amy's and remember, until next time, stay spooky.